Hello everyone, I'm of course John Doe, right here in Tokyo, Japan. We'll do another edition of the Ghost Hunters Report. Now I've been following this story for the past several days. If you're not aware of it, a lot of bags of contaminated soil, tree branches, and things like that, washed away into a river in Fukushima. Now these bags of contamination, contaminated material, were collected from Iwate Village. Now, Iwate Village is in Fukushima, and the cleanup effort is removing a lot of topsoil uh, due to fallout from the Fukushima nuclear power plant. Now, the number kept changing several times as to how many bags actually washed away into the river. But a recent NHK report, of all things, has now got us a more solid number of 395 bags of contaminated material. Now the government's report that they've recovered 300, about 314 of these bags, but over half of those, according to the latest report, were torn open and all the contents gone. So they found these empty, ripped open bags. So all that radioactive material flushed right into the river, fully into the ecosystem. It'll get into the sediment of the river. The river will flow throughout different areas of Japan, and more radioactive material is now in the environment. Now, environmental, the environmental minister here has said, you know, there's nothing really to worry about here. It's all right. Those were collected recently, see? And the radiation of those was really low. So it won't really have much of an impact. Well, you know, a lot of people would really like to believe that. I'd like to believe that, honestly. But considering there's no figures released, from a non-biased source, I mean not from the nuclear industry and not from the government, on the actual radiation levels of this material, you have to wonder how much truth that is. Now I was looking around, I couldn't find any report from any source on the actual radioactive level of these bags. So we're expected to take the environment minister's environmental minister's word for it. Now, again, I, I'd love to do that. A lot of people would. But concerning this whole mess with Fukushima, the government and TEPCO, which are one and the same, if you look it up, you understand what I'm, what I'm saying, have continuously lied, get, have to readjust figures and it's always higher. It's never what they actually said it was the first time. They've been caught lying, they've been caught not telling the truth, they've been caught, been caught withholding information that's vital to the public, vital to the world. So yeah, you know, I put in doubt that this radioactive material was, is not a big deal. Prove it's not a big deal. You know, it's frustrating here, time and time again here in Japan, that the government will say something related to Fukushima and say, well, you know, take our word for it. But they don't provide any proof to back up the things they say when they say everything's under control, everything's fine. When, when it comes out later that no, everything's not fine. So I suspect these um, radioactive contaminants were far more radioactive than he says so. Now I myself, I can't go up to these rivers and take readings. You know, I don't have any uh, background on what the ra radiation level in those rivers were before this happened. So, be, you know, it'd be great if someone was doing that, but I don't think anyone really is that I know of. I'm sure there may be a small activist group out there trying to do something, trying to get some numbers on it. So until that time, until we get any information about this, we have no choice but to doubt this and just say, well, there's one more incident. One more, pardon my language here, one more fuck up. I mean, you put these bags close to a river. When Japan is known to have flooding, Japan is known to be prone to natural disasters and natural events, and you just put it there and say, well, it'll be fine. We'll eventually find a more permanent place for it, but when? Apparently it wasn't fast enough, and now this happens. But I want to hear what you think of all this in the comment box below. First time you see me, please subscribe. Lots of vids like this, lots of other things to check out. Until next time, this is me, John Doe, here in Tokyo. Checking out.